Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. My name is Roger Cesar. I'm a senior applications engineer for the Nova Connect product line, and will be your presenter for this webinar. Our agenda is to discuss our Nova DS digital signage solution. We will cover our two hardware platforms, the Nova DS and Nova DS 4K, go over our software capabilities, share a few success stories, then dive into a live demo of our Nova DS Studio software. After the demo, we'll open up our lines for a Q&A session with our development team. Please keep in mind that your phone lines will be muted for the duration of the webinar, but you can post your questions in the questions area of the webinar window. Our team will be answering the questions throughout the presentation. Now, I would like to start our presentation with a promotional video on the Novo DS. It contains some of the highlights of our product and is a nice intro to what we will cover today. Alright, let's get started by talking about where we've been. We find the Nova DS is applicable to multiple verticals. Whether you serve the education, corporate, government, retail, hospitality, or healthcare markets, we've been successfully deployed in each, both on small consumer grade networks to highly secure enterprise class. We provided our customers with an easy to use, full featured digital signage solution that has been used for map and directory signage main lobby video walls and kiosk displays, retail menu boards, and internal branding displays. Now, to get a better understanding of our complete solution, let's go over the basic building blocks, which are the Novo DS and Novo DS 4K device and the Novo DS Studio software. The software is both Mac and PC compatible and functions as your content management system. I'll be showing you the software in our live demo to show you how easy it is to use. For mobile control, we have our Novo DS remote. It's our free Android or iOS remote application that allows you to manage your networked Novo DSs without the need of a laptop. For extensibility, we have our API released for custom AV integration. And soon to come in quarter four, we'll be releasing our Novo DS cloud service allowing you to manage your devices over the internet. With these four components, we make it simple to create your content, deliver your message, and truly capture your audience. Here is a diagram of our two connection scenarios. The Nova DS is connected to your display via an HDMI cable and is powered via an electrical outlet. There are two ways of refreshing content on the Nova DS, a online mode where the Nova DS is connected to your network infrastructure, and a offline mode where you update content manually with a micro SD card. In online mode, the Nova DS becomes so much more than just your simple media player. With internet access available on the network, the Nova DS has the capability to display live Twitter feeds, YouTube videos, websites, local weather, interactive QR engagement codes, video streaming, Google Calendar events, sync with online data stores like Dropbox, even receive live RSS feeds, all simply managed from our free Nova DS Studio software. Now let's discuss the hardware. Here is an image of our base unit, the Nova DS. Moving from left to right, we have an Ethernet and Wi-Fi capable device with a USB port for keyboard and mouse configuration, or it could be connected to an interactive display. The HDMI port supports 720p, 1080p, and 4K at 30 frames per second video resolutions. Moving on to the Nova DS 4K, this unit is able to support 4K video at 60 frames per second. It also has external antennas, dual USB, a dedicated RS-232 port, and a major differentiator, a live HDMI in for your digital science applications that want to incorporate live TV broadcasts, like news or sports. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Please note that the Nova DS is PoE enabled. 
also has much more onboard storage at 32 gigabytes over 8 on the Nova DS and has a special feature, the ability to do video wall synchronization. Included in the hardware purchase is a lifetime software use and free upgrade to our Nova DS Studio software. It's available for both Mac and Windows and available on our VivitechUSA.com website. Our Nova DS mobile app is available for the Android operating system and converts your Android device into a full-featured Nova DS digital signage player. Our Nova DS remote app is available for the Android and iOS and acts as a remote control for your network players, alleviating the need for a laptop to manipulate your players. More information can be found on our VivitechUSA.com website. We have software downloads, manuals, application guides, case studies, and more available online. Also, tune into our YouTube channel, Vivitech USA, for online tutorials and featurettes. Okay, I'm going to switch gears now and go into our live demonstration. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to configure the Nova DS device. I'm connected to the unit via a USB mouse and keyboard, and what you're seeing is the home screen of the device itself. On the upper right hand side, you have your network connectivity information moving down to your system clock and then your device firmware version. The first thing I would do is go into my screen orientation by going into settings to verify my installation type. The second step would be to verify my output resolution matches what I want it to be to my display and if I had some scaling issues I could go ahead and adjust the output scaling of the device natively. The final thing would be going into network connectivity where I would connect to the Wi-Fi network or the Ethernet uh, network. This by clicking on configure will open up the Wi-Fi settings. Another feature you could do from the settings menu is update the firmware. Updating the firmware requires internet access to your Nova DS and we'll check to see if there's any updates available. Now if you're happy with the firmware there's no need to upgrade but we're constantly making advancements in the software to enhance our user experience. This takes a few seconds and we're back. Once you have that information verified we have some other things that you could do from the home screen as well. Selecting device password will allow you to enable or disable the password protection. You're able to create your own password to prevent unauthorized access to your device, both locally and via the Nova DS Studio software. And once you enter in this password, you'll need to use it every time you want to make changes to your device. Now let's move into the Nova DS Studio software environment. When you first open up the application, this is the window you'll see. We have three tabs on the upper left, Playlist, Schedules, and Devices. Also on the right hand side is the firmware version. Keep that in mind, you always want to stay up to date. Press on Plus Playlist to create a new playlist. As you can see, we have preloaded templates for both landscape and by clicking on Portrait, Portrait Mode as well. In the landscape mode, if you don't have a template that you like, you can customize one easily by clicking Customize. A template editor will open up on your right hand side. You're able to freehand drag and drop regions based on a columns and rows system. Let's say I wanted this to be a large video window, local weather, a live Twitter feed, and a live RSS feed. I press OK and now my template is now complete. I like it. I can hit create. Name this playlist. We'll call it demo. You can give it a description and now edit page one of your playlist. By clicking on the individual region, you can now assign media to that individual region. I said this is going to be a video file, so I click on media. I can have the choice of having it being locally stored on my machine or being remote, like 
FTP, Samba, Dropbox, or Microsoft OneDrive. File new. A webinar. I have a video file here I want to use, and let's say a JPEG image, and I want to drop that into my media bin. I could change the duration of how long the images will actually be up for, but the default is 10 seconds. The upper left, I want it to be weather. So I go to the weather widget and enter in my country, city, and state. Make sure you choose your unit of temperature. I like mine to be in Fahrenheit. The third tab would be my Twitter feed. I'm going to use the Vivitech handle. In the lower right, we're going to do a RSS feed. I'm going to go to my web browser and I'm going to copy and paste ESPN's URL. I click on save. Excellent. And now, if I wanted to preview what this playlist looks like on a connected player, I can hit preview. From a drop down menu, choose one of my players and hit connect. Once I hit connect, I'll see the home screen in the remote snapshot window and can play the file from here. Pressing play would up th upload the file. And immediately it should start playing. Okay. And now that demo playlist is now saved onto my hard drive. Now you just witnessed how easy it was for me to create a brand new schedule and apply it to my Novo DS. For my next step, I'm going to show you how to create a quick schedule. I would click on Schedules, hit Create, name the schedule, I'll name it Morning. Now from here I'm able to schedule what items I want to play. I could choose how frequent this particular schedule will occur, from daily to hourly, weekly or monthly. I'm going to say daily to run every day at 9 o'clock in the morning. And now I could choose what actual playlist I want to play. It could be one or many. I hit OK. And now the morning schedule will play this particular event at 9 o'clock every day. Now let's move on to our final tab, DS Devices. Here is where you can manage your Novo DS players. You can create new and add a new player to your list by giving it a device name and entering the IP address. Here I already have our demo Novo DS already connected. The green light represents connected to the network. Here means connected to my, to my software. I could double click in the playlist area to choose what playlist is currently loaded. I could also go into the settings button to find out what playlists are loaded to the device in, in total. It's network settings, display settings, and other miscellaneous settings from here. We also have a feature called Remote Snapshot. Remote Snapshot allows me to see a live image of what's playing on my Novo DS player over the network. This alleviates the need to walk around a building to see what's actively playing on a player allowing me to monitor my devices all from my desk, making it nice and easy to manage. Now, you see how easy it is to create content and manage your devices.